Yes, we are live. But well, we need to co connect our viewers because I think we're having each rates. Then coming online to view what we're doing. Okay, have the up so oh this network is unstable. Okay. It's very important for us to know saxophone belongs to the woodwind family. The woodwind family. And we have the B flat and E flat instrument. B flat and E flat instrument. But today we'll be talking about the B flat instrument. With me here, I have Mr. Sopranino Sax. Earlier on, I talked about a brief history of the saxophone. This instrument was created or designed by Adolphe Sax. That's the, la the first name and the last name. His last name is Sax. Adolphe Sax in 1884. And according to science, the longer an instrument for the woodwind, the lower the sound and the broader the sound. The shorter the instrument, the higher in pitch of the sound. Now we're talking about rudiment of music that relates to the saxophone. Now, pitch is the height or depth of a sound. That has been established also on this various saxophone. This is the sopranino sax. Some call it so cough soprano, and it's a B flat instrument. This soul music, R and B, classical music. But when I'm talking about classical music, in the modern orchestra. So we need to know the component of the saxophone. Here with me, I have the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece, the lead guitar, and I have the reed. And I have the neck of the saxophone. And I have the octave key. And also, I have my table keys. My left keys, left one, left two, left three. I have my left four, left five, six, and seven. I have my palm keys, and I have my right keys. Right, right five, six, seven, and eight. So as I said, that this instrument is actually a B flat instrument. But we need to know that talking about B flat instruments or E flat instruments, they are instruments that are transposing instruments. What is a transposing instrument? An instrument that is different from the piano, that is different from the concert instrument. What are the concert instruments? The piano, the violin, the trombone. Those are the concert instruments. And and these instruments are on C, but for other instruments like the saxophone, like the trumpet, like the tuba, we have them on B flat instrument or E flat instrument. We even have some on D, we have some on E, but we'll be talking about uh, the B flat instrument in particular. Now, this is a sopranino sax. I've told you about uh, the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece itself, the ligature, the mouthpiece cover, the reed, talking about the neck, the octave key, talking about my table keys, the left arm keys, and the right arm keys. Because this instrument is actually a B flat instrument. So let me play the B flat. Now, 
This is the soprano sax. I have the soprano sax here with me. Also, a B flat instrument. Now, that's a soprano sax. Some call it called soprano, but I call it soprano sax. B flat instrument. And also the soprano sax. Now, we need to know the difference uh, in pitch. Sopranino sax is the highest uh, in pitch of saxophone. According to the construction, I told you, the shorter the instrument, the higher in pitch, and the bigger in is the instrument, the lower in sound. This is according to the scientific scientific proving of construction, talking about pipes. Now, I'm going to play and to show you viewers about the keys of the saxophone. Covering everything here is a B-flat. The B flats. My three keys here, another three keys here, and this down C and covering this is the B flat in the B flat key. And I'm talking about the transposing now. Now, talking about the B flats, this is this removing my pinky, my pinky, removing it. I will have C. After having C, I have D. After the D, oh, I got a message that the light is not enough. That the light is not enough. Maybe I need to change position. Maybe I need to change position. Just hold on for me. Hold on for me for a while. Let me get a better position for the lightning. I think this is a bit better. Gabriel. Gabriel, please hold on for me. I think it's better this way. So as I was talking, saying, and I was saying that the B flat instrument Start with this, you move to C and move into D, move into E, move into F, move into G, move into A, move to B and C. But one important thing we need to know is that uh, the B flat instrument in transposing to the concert instrument is a tone lower. You count two semitones, two semitones lower. So that means if I'm on G on the saxophone, B flat saxophone, you count, you count F sharp and F. That means if I'm on G on my saxophone for B flat, it's going to be F on the piano. And we need to establish that fact. Let me switch on the keyboard. If I'm on B flat, 
If I'm on B flat on this instrument, if I'm on G, sorry, on this instrument, it's going to be F on the piano. Let me blow it. Let me play it. This is G for saxophone. But I need to transpose it to the piano or to the keyboard. That means I'm counting two steps. So semitones downward. And this is my G on the piano. And I'll count two steps or two semitones downward, F sharp and F. So I'll now my G on the saxophone is my F on the piano. Now, talking about elements of saxophone, I've talked about the mouthpiece, the, lig the ligature, the reed, and one thing about it is, for beginners, it's better for you to use size two or two and a half. But for professionals, you can use size three, three and a half. Some use size four. So, and I've talked about the neck, I've talked about the octave key, I've talked about my palm keys. Now, these are my palm keys. I don't play with my tip, I play with the palm. And also, these are my table keys, left keys, and right keys. And I told you the, earlier on that this is B flat. This is C. This is D. This is E. This is F. And this is G, A, B, and uh, C. Sorry, we're trying to get a better view for the lightning you can move back and this is a sopranino sax this is a sopranino sax i think we are we are, we are having a better lightning now move towards the side no towards the side we'll come back to the side sorry our viewers you are actually Trying to get a better light here. So, I've talked about the sopranino sax as the highest in pitch of the saxophone and B flat instrument. Let me make the sound again. about playing the saxophone your embouchure is very important in the production of sound or your tone you can either produce music or you can either produce noise Music is an organization of sound and time that is pleasant to the ear. But if you're producing what is not music, that means you're producing noise. For instance, I'm playing this way. Definitely that is not. But if I'm playing... That is music. Sound is a form of vibration that is produced when an object is set into motion. This is my saxophone. That is the object I'm setting into motion. And sound. Talking about sound, we have noise and music. I've defined music. Noise is an irregular sound, unpleasant sound. So it depends on you as a player to know whether you want to produce a pleasant sound 
or an unpleasant sound. I asked them pitch soprano in sax. Let's move to the next of them. According to the range, this is soprano sax, also B flat instrument. Soprano sax, also B flat instrument. See the difference. This is not very high, like the sopranino. And this. So you can see that uh, the sopranino is the highest in pitch for the family of saxophone, followed by soprano. Identity and ornament. Let's talk about building of your tone. I would advise players that it is very important that each of your rehearsals, or each of your daily rehearsals, and let me tell you something to build a tone is a lifetime thing. You don't just build a tone in a day. And the wealth of experience or experiences comes along in building your tool. And looking back that you want to play like other people, you want to play like the legendaries, John Coltrane, you want to play, play like uh, Grover Washington, you want to play, play like Sonny Rollins. That's actually good. But you need to be identified with your tone. And what do you do? First thing in the morning, after waking up for your normal practice of rehearsal, you do your tone build up. Let's see. I'm going to play my G on the saxophone, which is F on the piano. Remember, this is a transposing instrument. For B flat, you transpose two semitones downward. But for E flat, you transpose three semitones upward. And let me establish that. If the saxophone is on C, both for soprano sax and alto sax. Now, if the saxophone is on C, where's my C? B flat C, right? Now, for the ten, uh, for the soprano saxophone, because it's B flat C, you count two steps downward. B flat, okay, C, you now count. B and B flat, two step without counting that C. B and B flat. For alto saxophone, on C, you don't count that C, you count three semitones, which is three steps, half steps, half steps. Half step is uh, semitone, while full step is actually a tone. Now you count C sharp. D and D sharp, which is also E flat. So if you're on C on the saxophone, or soprano saxophone C, alto saxophone C, alto saxophone of a plane on E flat, while soprano saxophone will be playing on B flat. Now let's talk about how to build a tone. Sometimes it gets irritating while you're trying to build your tone, but it's actually rewarding, very rewarding. When you're playing, when you're trying to build your tone, 
For instance, if I'm playing this G on the saxophone, which is F, and I'm playing. I think we have some of the knocking. So it's very important that uh, we have uh, the tone build up. It's very important that we have the tone build up and we know the actual way of building a tone. Actual way of building a tone. And for players, for beginners if you want to practice in a day for an hour i enjoin you to build your tone for more than 40 minutes so you can do other exercises like this for 15 or 20 minutes but your tone is so important because that is your identity that is your character that is what people will know you with i've seen many players over the years who play fantastic articulation, who play fantastic phrasing, who play fantastic ornaments, but their tone is whacked. So very important for you to know how to build your tone. Now, when you want to make the sound on the saxophone, so easy, how do you do that? Look at the lower teeth and the lips covers the lower tip, covers the lower tip, and you have your tongue being spread out. And you insert your mouthpiece and you bite with the upper teeth and you close the upper teeth with your legs. beginners you can start to try saxophone and play saxophone that way now after doing that you have exercised your franchise by making a sound on the saxophone now making of that sound now depends whether you're making music or noise now we now move so the length of the note, which is duration, how long do you want to build your tone? Is it for crochet timing? If it, is it for meaning timing? Is it for semi-brief timing or brief timing? Crochet timing. Meaning. Dotted meaning. Semi-brief. Dot and semi-brief. Brief. I always advise players when they come around and say, LA, you've been playing for long. What is the secret in your tone? And I always tell them, it's very important for you to build your tone because that's your identity. Because when you, you, when you start playing saxophone, if you don't learn how to build your tone, in a way, it's going back to be a regret because people will like, what is he actually playing? People all over the world are interested in your tone. Funny enough, you can have 20 players, saxophonists, all around. But we have good listeners that knows quality tones. 
a lot of people can play phrases a lot of people can actually articulate but if their tone is not good that will amount to nothing even playing this phrase <laughs> If I'm not playing it tritely, I'm producing noise. That's noise. But if I'm making music, now your embroiture is important. And while playing saxophone, you must not puff. That's the wrong playing. I said earlier that your lower teeth, your lips covers it. You are actually trying to bring out your tongue a bit. And you bite the upper. You bite with the upper teeth and close your lips. And you give a force. Pa, pa. From there, that's noise, but this. And building a tone requires your duration, your duration. How long do you want to play your a particular note? How long do you want to play a particular note? For instance, Now, interestingly, people love to pick the saxophone and start playing in their day and forget about the rudiments or elements of the saxophone. And importantly, also some saxophonists can't play more than a key or they play on their convenient keys because the instrument is actually a transposing instrument. I advise beginners, intermediate students to at least try to practice your tone identity on all the keys. For instance, playing your tone identity, identifying your tone by building up your tone with these legs. <laughs> Now let's do breathe for the fourth note and the fifth note. That is the tonic and the dominant. We move to the next key.
and so forth. Very important. And I will advise saxophonists, beginners, intermediates, not to rush in playing tunes or melody. Build your tone first. You can build your tone for months. I told you, building of tone is from cradle to grave. Cradle to grave. Beginning of your life on the instrument to the end of your life. You build your tone every day. You improve on your tone every day. You improve on your tone every day. Now, I've emphasized and show on the soprano saxophone and the sopranino saxophone. Now let's let me move to the tenor saxophone. The tenor saxophone. Oh, I love this instrument. I love this instrument. And I said earlier that. Uh, the construction of the instrument. The bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. The smaller the instrument, the higher in pitch. That is pure size. When you have a pipe, and if the pipe is long enough, cutting the pipe to a shorter one gives higher sound. And I've actually told you that you can actually classify your pitch of the saxophone to the voice ring. It was even actually developed from the voice and from the name of the voice. Mezzo soprano, highest range in voice, sopranino, that's the name. Soprano for saxophone, soprano for the voice. Alto saxophone, I know I've got here right now. During the course of the study this week, I'll bring it. Alto saxophone, alto voice, tenor saxophone that I'm holding, the tenor voice. And in between the tenor and the bass, you have the baritone sax. You also have the baritone voice. And the bass, you have the bass sax. So the bigger the instrument, the lower in the production of sound. And the shorter the instrument, the higher in pitch. But remember today that we're talking about the B flat instrument. B flat instrument. And I've just talked about your tone builder. Your tone builder. <laughs> Talking about your tone build-up, you also have to exhibit dynamics while playing. You have to exhibit dynamics while playing. Dynamics is actually the loudness or softness of a sound. The loudness or softness of a sound. How loud you are playing a sound or how soft you are playing a sound. Loudness. Soft. I think we have a guest. But the dynamic is the loudest or softness of a sound. Loudness or softness of a sound. It is very important. And for players, in building up your tone, you need to exhibit this. Loudness creates tension and softness creates relaxation. Even playing. <laughs> Now, but I will advise.
sacrifice players to balance boats. When you play too loud, you're creating tension. You play too soft, you're creating relaxation. But the way to balance boats gives you a unique nature. For instance, Oh, I'm playing rhymes. I will advise players to start with rhymes. That's Mary and Little Land. Let's go to Odd Crossbones. <laughs> That's all cross bonds. You know, I love to play rhymes because of my phobias. I love them so much. So, very important for us to know that saxophone in the Bible they talk about the Jubal family. And this is the family. That's the research for you to do. I won't tell you, uh, but it's in Genesis. Go and look for that. So, talking about the tenor saxophone, tenor saxophone is different from alto saxophone. It's actually a B flat instrument. Alto saxophone is E flat instrument. Tenor saxophone rounds up the dynamics in sound. All those saxophone also does, but I've told you earlier on that uh, the construction of the instrument, the higher in pitch, the instrument will be shorter. And the lower in pitch, the instrument will be bigger. So why building your tone? We did breathe the other time. And breathe is it count. Let's do celebrate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just one breath for that. You can also try it. But if you're trying it and it stopped at so or at the dominant you better do. And I'm talking about tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submediant, leading notes, and octave. These are the technical degrees of skills. They are also are not all do for soft notation but for players that are used to, to alphabets G A B C D E F sharp G and when you do that <laughs> That's crochet. Now let me move to meaning. Crochet one count, meaning two count. Now I stopped at so then and I quickly joined back. At far. So, very important for you to know that uh, your saxophone is an instrument that belongs to the woodwind family. And I'm talking about the keys again for those that are just joining us because it's actually a B flat instrument B flat C, D, E, F, G, A. B and uh, C. 
and C. So it's very important for us to know. Today, we're talking about getting to know your instrument. This is our mouth face. We have the ligature, we have the reed, we have the neck, we have the octave key, we have the table keys, left hand key, right hand keys, we have the palm keys, we have the left key, the pinky controls four of the keys, and we have the right keys. So when you have left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for the pinky, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, seven and eight, seven, left one, left two, left three, right four, right five, right six, right seven, and right eight. And you have your pinky, this finger, the pinky, to control the four notes for the left fingers. So it's very important for you to know that playing saxophone, you need to get to know your instrument first. Getting to know your instrument first. Now, like our body, we have the head, we have uh, the neck, and we have the body. Also the saxophone, the mouthpiece is the head. The neck is, you have the neck, and you have the neck here. And we have the body. And for the body, we have the table keys, we have our palm keys, we have the key guides, we have uh, the bell, we have the bell, we have the bell. And this is actually a wood ring instrument, though it's sonorous. What is sonorous? When you eat, it gives out sound. I'm talking about the mouthpiece. Oh, this is the metal mouthpiece. And for this soprano, you know, I have the plastic mouthpiece. Now, talking about the tone, mouthpiece doesn't differ. It's your tone that is so important. Your tone is so important that creation of your tone, building up of your tone, is important because that is you. That is you. That is you. Why building up your tones? I've told you. Excuse me, if you're practicing just for an hour in a day, do your tone build up for 30 minutes. It's so very boring, but rewarding and interesting. At the later part of your sojourn on this instrument called saxophone. <laughs> Now, I talked about the pitch. Pitch is the height or depth of a sound, of a moving to the music. The height, depth, still the same note of a sound. For you to know that this is saxophone and it's a B flat instrument developed or created by Ado Pay Sax in 1984. It's not part of the orchestra, but now we use it in, in the modern orchestra and it can be used as a draw trial quartet. Very important for us to know saxophone is a unique instrument. And uh, one important element, your reed. Without this reed, you cannot have any sound on the saxophone. You can't have any sound 
on the saxophone. If I'm removing this rig now, the saxophone will not make any sound. So it is very important, those that have followed us today, to keep in touch tomorrow. We'll continue the lesson tomorrow. We have talked about introduction to the saxophone for you to know the part of the saxophone and uh, to know the tone identity, what to do, what to do, what to do. The first thing to do, picking up a saxophone, your first sound, are you going to make noise or music depending on you? You can contact us on 080-2987-2270 or visit us at number 19, Aileto, Barak Bus Stop Sulary for summer coaching. And you can also visit our website, www.eliorchestra.ng. I'll depart with this for the tone semi brief for the scale. Now, mm -hmm. semi brief is for. Mm -hmm. Semi-brief meaning. Crotchet. Quiver. Semi-quiver. Demi semi semi quiver. Demi semi demi semi quiver. Emi demi semi quiver. You need to know all this. Visit us once again at www.earlyorchestra.ng or call us. On 0802987270, or you can chat us up through the same number. Visit our website or visit our studio, number 1980, Bank Post. Thank you. See you tomorrow.